quilty friends. I'm Christy. I'm the cross stitch quilter. I'm back today to talk to you about my stitching. It is October 31st and this is floss tube number nine. I hope this video finds you well, that you've had a great fall and you're enjoying stitching all the things. We've had a great fall this year. It's been busy as always. We're busy doing homeschool, um, sewing, cross stitching, and just trying to soak up every last minute of fall before it gets cold. Um, this is our first year not doing trick-or-treating in many, many years. Both of our kids are old enough to just not go trick-or-treating this year. And so it's going to be kind of weird. Um, we're going to just make uh, yummy food. I always make caramel popcorn every year. Um, my neighbors call it the Christy, Christy corn. <laughs> um, and I think that we're going to probably make hamburger soup for dinner. So, and we'll carve pumpkins and watch probably a scary movie. Last night we watched Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp and I just love that show. Our tradition um, on Halloween night is usually to watch Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. So we'll probably do that. Um, but I am back to talk to you about my stitching today. I have um, some previous finishes one new finish, some starts, some whips, some happy mail, and some purchases. So let's get started. I have some previous finishes I wanted to share with you today. Um, I might have shown one or two before, but I'm not quite sure. The first one is Lesson 4 in the um, series with Paulette Stewart Plum St Street Samplers. And I just love this, the saying on it, be you to others kind and true as you would have others be to you. So I just love that. And then I just finished it on the back with a little bit of wool and um, some Blackbird Designs fabric. This is one of my very favorite fall finishes and I keep it up year round. It, even though it has pumpkins, I keep it out in my sewing room. I just love that little guy. And then my next finish, previous finish is um, Boo and Babby, that's a mouthful, Boo and Babby by With Thy Needle and Thread, and I stitched this several years ago, it's just stuck on some mat board and put in this frame. I've also stitched the Patriotic one, I believe it's called Patriotic Poppies, and so I switched them out. So once um, Christmas time comes, I'll put the Patriotic one back in here and I just stick it here in my sewing cabinet. So. That is Boo and Bobby by With My Needle and Thread. I love that one. It was a fun, fun stitch. And then this next one is Autumn, Autumn Gatherings. I, no, Autumn Time by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And I have this in my daughter's bedroom. I have stitched her the summer one as well, but she loves these. And so that is just in her room and I went and grabbed it to show you. It's so fun, she loves it. And then my last one, and this is my very favorite fall stitch that I've completed and framed and have up in my house. And sorry for the glare, I'll try to. This is called Autumn Gatherings and it is by Mill Hill. Um, I stitched it so many years ago, probably about 15 years ago. So I, I don't think that the chart is around anymore. Um, but it has lots of beads on it. And I'll try to get it a closer so you can see. It is stitched on Ada, I believe with DMC. There might be a few. Yep, looks like Ada. And it is definitely a favorite of mine. I just keep this up all year round in my hallway um, in a non, you know, traveled, a very traveled hallway so that I can just keep it up year round, keep it safe because it has glass on it. But it is definitely one of my very favorite pieces. Um, I wish that the chart was still available, but I don't think that you can find it. Those are my previous finishes and then I have a new finish. Um, I haven't fully finished it because, well, I'll just show you the chart first. 
It's The Good Stitching Witch by Stacy Nash. And I'm, I've ordered the ribbon and the trim. And so I haven't finished it because I really wanted to finish it correctly. I just love that bow on her waist. And I did get a black strawberry that Stacy Nash's daughter makes. I think her name's Taylor. But I'm gonna tie that onto the, and hang it from the pillow as well. But here is my finish. I stitched it on all the called for linen and threads. The only change that I made is in her dress. Um, you put in her skin color in her dress and I decided to do it with the color of the house just to make it pop and I thought it looked a little bit more magical. I just love her so much. Everything that Stacy Nash designs, I love so much. And I'm going to put it next year in this tray right here next to the Spools Quartet quilt because it has, well, it's the Good Stitching Witch and she has her spools of thread there and her black strawberry. So I'm really excited about that. I just finished it a couple days ago um, and I was hoping that the trim would make it here on time, but it just didn't. So, okay, so next I'll show you my um, starts and my whips. The last time I filmed it was October 1st and I told you that I was going to start A Ghoul Tide Welcome by Plum Street Samplers and I did just that. So this is a restart for me. I had it stitched on this linen which is Vintage Sand Dune by Lakeside Linens. It's 36 count and I had stitched it with the DMC. And I had quite a bit done and you're going to think I'm crazy, but I, and I started on this linen. I just restarted it. Um, so I spent a good amount of time this month unpicking, frogging. I had the whole entire roof completed, probably, oh, the first two rows of windows and all of the dark brown in there stitched. I had the witch over here stitched, the horse, and the grass as much as I have done right now in the grass, and the border, the, the left side of the border I believe. I did it in DMC and I didn't like the coverage and I love this piece. It's one of my very very favorite pieces. So I um, bought all the NPI silks and I just decided instead of starting it over on a new piece of linen that I didn't want to waste Lakeside and I knew that if I didn't unpick it now I wouldn't do it later. So I just unpicked it as I went and I started over here in the exact same spot that I had started before so that all my stitches will cover up because you can still see where I've frogged this area a little bit and I was so worried as I was stitching. I'd stitch a little bit and then I'd frog a little bit and I kept thinking you know I'm gonna be really mad if one of these days I've made, I make a hole when I'm frogging, but thank goodness that didn't happen. So I just love it now. Um, I was talking to Carol and we were joking that this piece, Ghoul Tide Welcome, is, has a hex on it from that witch that's on here because both of us have just had quite the struggle. Um, but I'm glad that I went to the work to unpick it and I, I'm really enjoying stitching it with the uh, NPI silk. The only change that I've made is there's a pumpkin up here that is a really, really light yellow. I don't think I have my threads here right now, but it was the exact same color as the linen. And so I unpicked it and then just stitched it with the same color as this pumpkin over here. So that's a gold hide welcome. And I'm sure that Carol has hers finished. I haven't talked to her in a while, but, um, it's been so much fun. It's always fun when you get a stitch with somebody that you admire. And so that made this piece even more special. And then my next start is Pumpkins for Sale by Lori Holt of Be My Bonnet. I love this so much. And I got it started and I stitched his face just in a, I can't even remember what, just a thread I had. And it looked horrible. It was way too dark and just didn't look like the chart. And he's so cute. Lori posted a floss tube video yesterday and she showed hers completed. And it's just so perfect that I wanted it to look right. So I've ordered the floss for him 
and so I'm just waiting to uh, stitch his face and that's my progress so far. I'm stitching this on most of the called for threads, just a few um, that I didn't have, I just substituted. But I just love this piece. I'm stitching it on 32 count Old Town Blend. And I can't wait to get this done and up on my wall for next year. It is so cute. Okay, now the rest of everything is just whips. I haven't started anything else. And Yesterday I got back to this, Boo To You, and I wanted to um, finish it earlier in the month, but I ran out of, th I didn't have um, the called for threads, and I thought I would substitute and just make it work, but every time I did, I didn't like what I stitched, and so I've ordered all the threads. I even um, ordered the blush. I don't like his cheeks. They're just not dark enough, so I've ordered the color for his cheeks and his stem, and I had to order the two dark um, blacks in his, her, I keep calling him him. It's a her. She's wearing a skirt. Okay, so her gingham skirt. Um, so I've got all the threads now and I want to get this finished in November because I really want to get it done. I've told you that I wanted to get it done and I didn't. Um, the next thing that I worked, I have, I stitched these in just no particular order. But the next thing that I worked on was Thankful, Grateful, Blessed. And this is by With Thy Needle and Thread. I love this so much. I had to buy this last year when Michelle Farm Girl showed her progress. And I think that she's done now. I've made quite a bit of progress. Um, I had stitched these words in the called for color, which is this house color or the door color. And they weren't showing up. So I unpicked them and I'm stitching them in the gray, which is the called for roof color. And I think that it is showing up better. And I finished filling in the house since last time and the roof and that awesome white pumpkin on the top. I, oh, I just love that so much with the bittersweet. So I wanna get this finished in the month of November so that I can have this up on my wall next year. Love that. And then um, a next whip that I've been working on with a lot of you is Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. And I started this with my good friend Lori when we were up camping um, in September. And so many of you have joined us and it has been, it's truly a Feast of Friendship and it has been so, so fun. It has made it just even that more special. I think I told you last time I'm stitching mine on Wren, but I'm not. I'm stitching it. I misspoke. I'm stitching it on Picture This Putt Plus Legacy, um, one thread over two on 36 count. And here is my progress. So I've done more of the border and the words and the pumpkin and that big bowl. I just love it so much. So the called for thread for the bowl is parchment, but parchment didn't show up very well on my linen. And so I went in my uh, threads and found shaker white and it has a little bit of a gray to it. It has a little bit of modeling that just makes it stand out just a little bit better. The parchment you couldn't even see. So I'm hoping to get this one done in November as well. And here are all the called for threads. My thread bling is a little squirrel from my friend Yvette. And these, oh, if I had to pick a color palette that is my favorite, this would be it right here. I've had a few of you um, ask me about the blues and there are three blues in it. Um, the one blue is Tin Bucket, and Tin Bucket is one of those that the variegation, the dye lot has changed over the years. Um, you can sometimes get it and it's really gray, and other times you get it and it's more blue. But mine is a blue color, um, but I have seen it stitched with the gray, the more gray, and it, they both look good. It just makes the house look a little bit more... Um, worn down 
the the tin bucket is right here in this area right here and I think that it just makes it look like a worn out pair of denim jeans it's so fabulous I just love this project so much um the if you would like to um use the hashtag on Instagram we're using the hashtag Lori and Christy and friends Sal and so many of you are stitching it right now it it's just been awesome so thank you so much for that um so after I got the good stitching witch done the other night I started I just came in my sewing room and I went through all of my current whips and kind of started thinking about what I want to get accomplished this year um we I know we only have a couple more months left can you believe it this year has flown by um, but I just started going through my whips and my unfinished, you know, just the things that I want to start, finish, and see on my wall by next year. Um, the one thing that I grabbed and I really want to focus on is the Equality Sampler by Plum Street Samplers. And this was so generously gifted to me by Brenda. And she sent it to me the week in August that is the 100 year anniversary of um, women being able to vote. It was in 1920 in August, and I can't remember the exact date. Paulette has a video on this on Floss Tube, and she says the exact date. And I should know that, it's our history, right? But anyway, um, so she sent it to me that week in August. So I started it as soon as I got it because I just, that meant so much to me. And then, I sent in my ballot, my mail-in voting ballot. So I picked this back up because I really want to get this done. And even if I don't get it done in 2020, at least I can say that I stitched on it a lot in 2020, right? So here is, I just have an, one night's worth. I worked on it last night and I started on this border right here and then the eagle that's over here in the corner and you can see the beginning of his little tail. So I'm going to start working on this. So hopefully I'll have some good progress to show you next time. I just, I just love this sampler so much. And I think that um, it'll be so awesome to have all three, the heritage sampler and the const the new constellation and this one up on the wall together. It'll be just awesome. So I will be back to show you a few more things. I had to clear out some space so that I had more room to put more stuff up here to show you. <laughs> it is a true problem when you're filming videos as to where to put everything. Um, I need a little elf, stitching elf here to start handing me stuff and then dispersing it. <laughs> um, I have some Happy Mail that I wanted to show you. I have been overwhelmed by the generosity of so many good friends here on floss tube and Instagram and you guys don't have to send me stuff but it sure is wonderful and there are just so many generous people in this world and especially this year it has made a huge impact I tried to send random acts of kindness just because I know how it feels to receive such wonderful gifts in the mail sorry for getting teary-eyed um my friend Annette, Yvette, um, I was telling her that I had started the Noel sampler. Um, and last year, I just was fed up with it. I did not like my the way it was looking on what I was stitching it on. I was stitching it on 28 count Debloom um, Lugana by Picture This Plus, and it just didn't, it, wa it wasn't the right linen for this piece. And I had finished the house, or a good part of it. I will actually insert a picture right here of my piece. And it's long gone, it's in the landfill, I chopped it up with scissors. <laughs> but I love this piece and I want to restart it. And so she, Yvette so kindly sent me a piece of vintage cedar plank by Lakeside Linens to stitch it on. And this is what Brenda and um, Carol Crago has been, that are on Instagram have shown and finished. And it just looks so pretty 
the colors look so pretty on the cedar plank. It just makes everything pop and looks more prim like I want it to look. So I'm super excited to start this project this winter. Thank you so much, Yvette. That was, I, I really appreciate it. I've, I've looked for vintage cedar plank many times and I've never been able to find it. It's one of those unicorn linens. So uh, <laughs> I was super excited about that. And then I went to the mailbox one day and I immediately recognized the name because I have ordered a bag from this darling, sweet lady friend. This is from Debbie, who is Debbie Stitching. Debbie's Stitches on Instagram. If that's not correct, I'll put it below. I think it's Debbie's Stitches. And she makes the most darling project bags. They're um, an envelope style. They open up and I've bought several of them from her. I have them packed away with my Christmas stitching. So I'll have to gra grab it and show you next time when I show you my Christmas stitching. But she sent me the cutest scissor holder. She makes, she does great sewing. She's a, a very um, perfectionist seamstress. So I appreciate all of her work. But she did a binding on it, hand stitched it down, little scissor holder. And then I don't know what she calls this, but it is a thread keeper. And as you can see, I even have some thread in it. I've been using this to stitch ghoul tied. So this is a little piece of the green NPI silk. But um, a lot of times I'll put my needle minder right here with a magnet on the back. And I'll put my scissors right here and just use it to hold all my threads that I'm currently working on in my project. So, and it's with the cutest, it's the Great Pumpkin fabric. She sells project bags and um, these items on her Instagram. She posts sells, and then if you want to do a custom order, you could message her. I don't know. If she, I know that there for a while she was busy because she was making a wedding dress for her daughter that is incredible, but um, she does great work, so I highly recommend her. And then, oh, a friend on Instagram, and I didn't ask her if I could say her name or not. Um, she messaged me and she goes, do you have this book? And I said, no. I don't have that book and it's my unicorn book and she so kindly offered to send it to me she said that she had more than one and maybe it's a good thing I'm not saying her name because I don't want everyone bugging her for <laughs> this book but um anyway it's Blackbird Designs Hignan Camp and I have been trying to collect Blackbird Designs quilting books they're just like their charts once they're out of print, they aren't, they're gone. You can't find them anymore. And so this is one that has been on my unicorn bucket list to find. And I had first seen it on Shanda's um, Stitching in Idaho's uh, floss tube um, this summer. And oh my goodness, I just loved it so much. But this quilt, I'm totally smitten with. So I'm going to start collecting fabrics so that I can make this quilt this coming summer. I absolutely love everything about this. I love the basket, the flag. I think that there's a matching cross stitch um, by Blackbird Designs as well. I don't have that. I'm gonna try and find it so I can stitch it to go with it. But I, I love this so much and you know who you are. Thank you so, so much. I, I was very, touched by your generosity and for thinking of me. Um, it was just one of those things that's like, you know, I was shocked that somebody thought to send it to me because it's definitely and truly been one of my unicorns. So thank you so, so much. I wanted to show you a couple things that I have bought since last time. Um, I have ordered these bag panels from Brenda Gervais site. It's stitches on country stitches online and she, it's a bag panel and then you make it into a bag. But this one is for coming to America and 
I haven't worked on this since the first time I showed it to you other than a little bit of the um, water. And I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I might restart this on the Vintage Country Mocha because the colors are just so much more vi vibrant on the Vintage Country Mocha. So, and I love this piece of linen. I'll keep it and stitch it on um, something else, but that is my plan for that. So because it seems like it's not gonna, you know, make it here in time. I needed a bag to keep it in because I definitely don't want to abandon this project, but I thought that that was so cute. And then she has a couple others on her site as well. And I, they come with a little piece of wool and some fabric to make the strawberry. So I still need to do that. But this matches the project heart in hand. And so that's what I put in here. And I have not finished this yet. This is one of them that when I pulled it out the other day, I'm like, why is this not done? Love this piece. It is on Dove, 36 Count Dove by Weeks Dye Works. And I have worked on it a little bit since last time I showed it. I have finished um, a little bit more of the house, this flower pot, the tree, some more of the border, some words. I've made a little bit of progress, so I need to definitely get back to this piece because I just really love it so much. 2020 definitely threw me for a huge squirrel loop, <laughs> but that's okay, right? We all need to give ourselves grace this year and just enjoy the process and stitch what gives you comfort and joy right now. And then the other one is this bag panel and it's really cute. It has all the lingo that we use kitted up, one over one, frog, project bag, haul, floss, stitch from stash. And it's got the little stitching lady. So fun. I didn't show you the insides of the bag, so I just put in some, I had some strawberry fabric, so I put that in there. And this one, I had some fig tree fabric that matched. So those are really fun and um, she has another one that is coming out to match her new chart. Well, it's not new, it was um, part of the, it was in Amana last year with Farm Girl, um, a stitching retreat and she, Brenda had released this pattern and we all went gaga for it. And so I just got it in the mail yesterday. I'm so excited. So I've kitted it up. I had most of the called for floss and um, I might stitch it on either Rook or what's the other one? Mink by R&R. &R. There's the threads. So. I'm really excited. It's such a pretty piece. I can't wait to get that started. Um, I was talking to Celeste and we were texting back and forth. We both got it yesterday and we were just so excited and she wants to start it on Sunday. So I think that I'm going to join her because I, how can you resist that? I'm really not in the mood for Christmas stitching yet and I've seen so many people stitching Christmas and I love it but I just I live in a area where we have literally six months of winter and so the longer I can prolong fall and enjoy the season the better because we have snow on the ground here from November until at least March sometimes April into April and it just gets to be such a long long winter I live in a very cold climate so I'm not Russian winter, but this is pretty and I'll get it started. Um, and then my next purchase that came yesterday was um, Burr, it's cold outside. And this is a companion piece to her witches that have the cauldron right here in the middle and it says boo on the flag. That's so cute. So I ordered a couple of flosses that need to go with that. 
I'm excited. I'm not going to start that one though soon. No rush in the snow. Um, and then I want to talk to you about some plans that I have. The um, first thing is, I know I've talked about this in my videos before, but this is Hannah Tingey, 1823 by Scarlet House. And um, Michelle Cozy Egg is going to join me and Amy Loves Toads and a few other people on Instagram have messaged me that they're going to join me. And I'm gonna start this on Thanksgiving day. I just love it so much. It has a Christmas feel to me, but it's the fall color. So I just thought that Thanksgiving day was the perfect day to start it. Um, I'm going to stitch mine on Vintage Luna by Lakeside Linens. And then here are the floss conversion from the attic. From the two tarts and their charts. I thought that was so pretty on that linen. Um, the call for is 46 count. I, there's no way. <laughs> this whole entire verse up here is over one. And I have learned that I don't like stitching over one on even 40 count. So I don't mind 40 count if it's not over one, but I just, I'm not that good yet. Um, I know my limits and I know that I'll just abandon, I don't want to abandon it. I don't want to get to the hard part and then just not, just put it in the corner. I want this finished. So I um, subbed out the linen for 36 count. <laughs> I can probably do over one on 36 count. But um, if you'd like to join us, please do. I'm going to use the um, hashtag, just Hannah Tingey 1823 Sal. So it keeps it nice and easy to remember. Um, and I think Carol the Salt Box Stitcher is going to be stitching it. I'm just super excited. Um, I think my favorite part are these moths and the reindeer. They're just awesome. But it's just so, it's such a pretty sampler. Okay. And then my next plan is I'm going to be sewing along with the prim and proper sew along. It's hashtag prim and proper sew along on Instagram. And it starts on November 17th. If that's not correct, I'll put it below. Um, I'm so excited about this. I love this fabric line by Lori Holt of Be My Bonnet. The ra the brown in it is she calls it raisin, and it is just such a pretty. It has all my favorite things. It has quilting, and it has all the X's with the cross stitch. So it and it's just vintage. It's how could I not do this quilt right? It just how it screams Christy. And then all the X's right here. This is an awesome book. Um, her instructions are always superb and very easy to follow. Um, and I got my kit from the Fat Quarter Shop with the trim and the other colors. So I'm ready to go. And hopefully I'll be sewing with it along with a bunch of you as well. And I'm really excited. I have one more project to show you that I've been working on. And that is, I have been doing a little bit of crochet. Um, I'm sure that you follow Lori Holt here on FlossTube and YouTube. She does FlossTube videos and then quilting videos and crochet videos. And she did a, she's doing a crochet series, um, Great Grant or the Granny Squared. And so she did a tutorial, the first episode, how to start. And so I got started. And I haven't blocked mine yet because I'm going to keep growing with them. But I um, started and I've just been picking autumn colors as I go. I want to make a pillow and a throw for my sewing room. And so then here's my other one. And I haven't like tied my loose ends in or anything yet. But these are so fun to make. Her instructions and tutorial was absolutely perfect and easy to follow. I'm not a crochet expert. I'm a, just a beginner and um, it's just like being there in person with her learning. She does a great job and so um, I encourage you to join us. It is so much fun. 
This is use, I am using her chunky thread that um, you can find it on Fat Quarter Shop. I found it on Etsy and I've been trying to collect all the colors so that I can just make mine super scrappy and all the rainbow. But they're super fun and like when you can't, you know, stitch in the car or you just, when we're watching a movie that I'm really into and I don't want to have to pay attention to cross stitch, this is a great project to pull out. So I'm just so excited about that. I don't have any quilting to show you today. I've had, I've been trying to decide if I want to record quilting videos separately. Um, I have enough projects going on that I could talk for the same amount of time that I do here on Floss Tube for my quilting. And I've had a few messages and comments about um, that from quilters saying, oh, I don't stitch, but I love the quilting part. And I've had the opposite comment from people saying, oh, I love your floss tube videos, but I don't, I'm not interested in the quilting. So I'm, I've noticed quite a few um, YouTubers have been doing that, making separate quilting videos and cross stitch videos. And so I wanted to ask you what you think about that. Do you like to see them together or would you prefer them separate? And then that way I can go into more detail about the sewing and quilting part for those that would not be interested. Um, so I'm not going to show any quilting this time. I have been busy um, making all the things and doing so much fall sewing. Um, but I will either share it here on my next video or I will make a separate video here in a week or two. Uh, just depending on your feedback. So I just thought that I would ask you guys. I want to make these videos where you, you know, so that it's best for everybody. So let me know what you think about that. So Fat Quarter Shop sent me an extra prim and proper pattern book to give away to one of you so that you can sew along with us. If you would like to be entered in this giveaway, just mention prim and proper in your comment and I will draw that next time. Um, and then I have two other patterns that they sent um, that I already have, so I thought that I would share with you. Um, and that, that is Hey Pumpkin cross stitch pattern, and it is one from their Stitch Quarterly. This is such a cute, cute chart. It's a quick stitch, and I want to get mine out and work on it, but they stitch it on 10 count, and it Ada, and it is just so cute. It will look like a vintage uh, needlepoint because of the linen or the burlap vintage cloth that was used in it. So if you'd like to be entered to get this, it's Hey Pumpkin. I'll just say that in your comment. And then this last one is Prim Stitch Series. And this is chart number four of 12, Kindness and Generosity. I just love that guy, he's so cute. This is another one I want to get out and start working on again. I've started this stitch along and need to get caught up. But kindness and generosity in your comment. And I just wanted to thank everyone for all the friendship, the kind comments, um, for coming back and spending time with me each month. I never thought in a million years that um, anybody would want to watch these videos, but I have just been so blessed with friendship and all of you so thank you for ha sharing a little part of your life with me and until next time happy stitching and stay safe everybody